better get some food before your sisters eat it all up. <laughs> Look at they stop moving when I talk. All right, I'll be quiet and see what happens. like the WWE chickens. They go crazy. It's okay, chickens. All right, go do your thing. You go ahead and eat. I won't disturb you. <laughs> absolute crazy out here it's just let up for just a little bit and so the girls would not go back up in the van they just wouldn't go back up in the van they were just at first they were underneath the little ramp thingy um, but I thought maybe they're just afraid to go up into the tunnel thingy back into the van so I went out in the rain I got drenched and I just cut it open I mean like shredding shredding my my monstrous chicken tunnel up and, um, well, they didn't go in. I, I got them wrangled in the little run there that is thankfully covered. I covered the entire top with uh, tarps and whatnot. And they are just hanging out there. A couple of them roosted for just a little while, but it's so wet in there, and I'm just terrified. I am terrified. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I hope they're going to be okay, you guys. I just want to go back out there and catch each and every one and put them in the van. I hope they're going to be okay. Well, I can't see them anymore, so hopefully they found their way inside the van. I just hope they're not out gallivanting somewhere in the rain. I'm almost tempted to put my boots on and go out and check on them. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Alright, I'm counting two of them. Three. Oh, I'm sure there's a fourth one back in there. Oh. Honestly, you guys, I'm so crazy. I I've never thought to check and see if it's okay for chickens to be out in the rain. But while I'm out here, huh, might as well have a look around, see if there's anything interesting sprouting up. Look at me. Oh my gosh, I cracked myself up. It started pouring down rain again, so I'll have to look at stuff later. So I guess today is going to be an indoor day. But I got the girls safe and sound inside the van. 
Um, they seem none the worse for wear. They got food and water in there. But it's weird. After I've given them, like, more space, I feel guilty putting them back in the van. But you know what? Those leghorns, they just, they're happy wherever they are. I just love them. And I love my new chickens, too. But they're chat hounds, and they're poop factories. They were almost quiet until I started walking over here. Oh gosh, these chickens, look at what a mess. I have to basically clean this pen every day. It was so different with the leghorns. Of course, they had that other little house to go into. These chickens are higher maintenance, that's for sure. <laughs> but they're delightful. The good news is the leghorns are going up and down that ramp and in and out of the van now at will. Once I took that netting off of it and I basically just snipped it, I got drenched, uh, just cut it all up. I still, I'm going to take those hoops off and I'm going to use them for something else. But I think once I got all of that netting off, um, I mean before when it was on there, when it was actually the chicken tunnel, they were going in and out no problems, but once I kind of backed the little yard away and used that as part of the support to hold up the fence, <laughs> um, they they quit going up and down in and out of the van uh, when it was like that, when they've got the whole big yard. So what I had been doing is I had to basically wrangle them and catch them and put them into the van myself so that I wouldn't have to be chasing them around after dark. And I usually do this at around, yeah, around 7 o'clock-ish because it starts getting dark around that time. Uh, but once I cut that netting off, they are just going in and out now, so no problems. In fact, today, and this is the bad news, today there were hawks up in my trees, and I know the difference between a crow sound and a hawk sound now. Um, the prior video, yeah, that's a crow uh, there's hawks up in those trees right above the coop. Well, not the ones right above, but just back a little bit. And I hear them out there, and I can see them out there. So the weird thing is, is today I went out to them this morning. I opened up the van doors, put the ramp up, and they didn't want to come out. I even shook my little my little food container, and I gave them their favorite. They love sardines. I don't care if you say they're not good for them. They love sardines, so they get sardines every now and then. I mean, I don't, I don't uh, give them the kind with sauce or oil or anything like that. Um, and they would not come out of the van. And that's when I was hearing the hawks up, up above. Now, they've never seen hawks, but I think these leghorns are pretty smart. They did not come out of the van until after I quit hearing the hawk sounds up in the trees. And eventually they came they came out, and now they've just been going in and out, but they've been going, and this is kind of weird, they've been going inside the little chicken coop that I've got inside there that I'm ho hoping to be a nesting box. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that because I may, make, I may use that to put the, the little chickens in to kind of indoctrinate them with the flock. But they were up in there, and there's not even any bedding. They've kicked it all out. So they're scared of something. And they haven't been outside too much today. Um, this is the day after we had all that rain. So I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Uh, I don't know if they were afraid or if they just didn't want to get out because it's still kind of damp out there. But the good thing is, is they are going up and down the ramp. And they went into the van themselves last night at dusk, so I didn't have to chase them around. So I think this is all going to work out. Anyhow, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Um, I'll figure it out. It's so wet and muddy out there. I think I'll just go foraging and harvesting some herbs, and that's about it. Anyway, that's all i got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.